This is a product category that I've never really looked at before. This is the Razer Orochi, or Oroki. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that, so I'm not going to try and say it again. But this is a Bluetooth wireless notebook gaming mouse. So with gaming on notebooks becoming so much more popular as notebook GPUs continue to make progress towards the speed of their equivalent desktop GPUs, well, there's got to be some demand for a notebook gaming mouse because you can't game on a trackpad. And you certainly don't want to game on the, like, you know, jewel-encrusted, you know, cheapo mice that you get at the big box stores. So Razer has determined that there is a big enough niche out there for them to go ahead and produce a notebook gaming mouse. And if I can get the packaging open, that would uh, go a long way towards getting this unboxing on the road. All right, so here we go. Notebook is a, just a packaging master. I love the way they do their packages. So let's start with this one. I mean, sometimes they're a little bit difficult to get apart, but they're certainly cool. So they've got their little for gamers, by gamers slogan. Razorzone.com is their website. You unbo oh, unbox this, you open this. Welcome to the cult of Razor. It includes a certificate of authenticity for this particular mouse. You've got a quick start guide which presumably will show you yeah, how to put batteries in, how to uh, sync it up with the receiver, how to switch to wired mode. So that is both wired and wireless, much like the, uh, the Razer Mamba. Okay, so we've got a master guide. So this is a more detailed guide, uh, battery pairing indicator behavior. Got some little pictures in there, shows you how to use the driver software. All right, next we have a other language. And then we have a master guide. Well, hold on a minute. What's the difference between the master guide piece? Oh, this is the master guide for Mac. So showing you how to use the Mac software. Very cool. Wow, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of manuals for a mouse. Next, we have a Razer sticker. And as I recall, these are UV reactive, but don't quote me on that. Okay, then we have, ooh, a little carrying case. Very nice, very nice. Include some batteries, energizers. And then also in here is a little, uh, okay, a little like separator thing. So that stuff doesn't get from one side of the carrying case over onto the other side. Very nice. Then we have the, uh, oh yeah, the wired adapter. So that looks like a mini USB cable on that side, and that would be a larger USB cable on that side. All right, let's see if we can figure out how to get the mouse out of the box. It's styled after the Mamba box, but not quite as, uh, not quite as premium. I mean, the Mamba box was, uh, the stories going around on the web were that the, the, the box for the Mamba was a, a significant part of the, of the price of the mouse because it was so cool. Like, it made it look like the Mamba was floating in the packaging. There we are. So, um, they've got the floating effect, but it's not quite at the same level. This is a less expensive product, though, so that stands to reason. All right, let's see if I can get this out. No. Okay. Oh, I still gotta make another plastic incision here. There we are. I think it's gonna come out now. Yes, success. Okay, so there's a couple uh, little tabs here that I believe are holding the mouse in. So if we just kind of give that a little Okay, the mouse came apart while I was trying to uh, take it out. Oh, that comes off really easily. That's good. Um, there we go. Okay, I finally managed to slip it out. So this is a very, very small mouse, which stands to reason as it is a notebook gaming mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my mouse pad here. So I have quite small hands. I should say that right from the start. And uh, I can use this quite... I'd say adequately comfortably. It's not something that I'd want to necessarily be gaming on for hours and hours and hours, but as something where you're just kind of gaming on the go, you want something that's small enough to carry around, I can see this definitely being an option. So here is the uh, switch on the bottom, which I'm sure if we had read the manual, we'd know what it does. I think it has to do with the pairing, actually. And then I managed to get the cover off just a second ago. Yeah, that's really easy to take off, but not in a bad way, because when you're using the mouse, obviously you're not going to be putting pressure on the uh, on the bottom of the cover, but okay. In terms of buttons, we've got one, two, uh, back and forward or on the side here, and then we've actually got two more on the other side. So we've got a ton of buttons on a tiny notebook mouse like this. Our two main ones are mouse wheel click, two on this side, 
and two on the other side. So you just go ahead and lift that up from the back and it's as simple as that. So you can put the batteries inside. They've got a little uh, thing here so that what you can do is once the batteries are in, the way to remove them is to just pull on this tab. You can lift the batteries right out. I love those. They've been around forever, but still a good thing to have included with any product. Okay. Well, I guess that's all there really is for me to say about it. There we go. We put the cover back on. It's that simple. And here, why don't we just to, you know, do something else in this video, something different. Why don't we use an accessory? So we're going to go ahead and put the mouse inside there and then close it. Aha. So the mouse is installed in its little carrying case. Very cute. And actually here, why don't we show this too. So this is how to plug in the USB interface. If you do not want to use it in wireless mode, you just plug that into the sort of the bottom, front bottom of the mouse right there. That's where the USB interface is. This goes in uh, some little sliding rails right there. So you can't put it in wrong. Just slide that. Oh, apparently I'm putting it in wrong. There you go. You just slide that in there. And then the mouse looks like that. And you can plug it directly into your notebook. So yeah, if you have a gaming notebook, this would probably be a good addition to it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Razer Orochi or Oroki. Please help me, leave a comment. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my Linus Tech Tips video blog for more unboxings and product showcases and other videos.